<laughs> you prove that you love daytime TV, Brad, but yes. what about telly treats later on in the day? Ah, well, there was one drama series that guaranteed my bum to be on the sofa, yeah. and it was set in London's underworld, uh, the criminals, of course. Let's have a look at the masters in action. Minder was first broadcast in 1979 and spanned a very long and impressive 15 years. The series followed Terry McCann, played by Dennis Waterman, as the underpaid and overworked minder for the infamous Arthur Daly, played by the brilliant George Cole. You know me, Mr Chisholm. I'll keep well away from villainy. <laughs> Arthur was a well-dressed wheeler-dealer, importer, exporter, used car salesman and all-round dodgy geezer. I had a cotchel of Italian custom-made shoes there, imported from Taiwan. Terry, on the other hand, was the ladies' man. Now, listen, you, just cos she's done a bit of stripping, don't mean to say she's a slag. Honest, trustworthy <laughs> and loyal, particularly to Arthur, although some of the scrapes that Arthur landed him in often made him wonder why. You like hospital food? <laughs> <laughs> Their brilliant on-screen chemistry helped make the show a massive success. Do you know what you can do with your problems? You can stuff them up your Show, just the most fantastic show. I'd have killed to have been in that show, really, but it's great. Your wish is my command. Uh -huh. Please. Oh, mm. look. Here look you go. Can. Here's Thank your you. coat. Thank you, ma'am. Would you want to try the hat as well? Yes, indeed. Not Here off. There's your hat. <gasps> look at that. Here I go. And then, Bradley. <laughs> yes. Walk that way, because for one night only, yes. you are in charge of the Winchester. I am indeed. <laughs> Just go and see if there's anything in the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was it about the show that really you loved? Um, I, I remember, you know, like the first few episodes, and you just got hooked straight away. It was the characters, the chemistry between the characters, you know. Yeah. And if you was going to have a, a career in acting or drama, then Dennis Waterman and George Cole was the careers to have because both. <laughs> Large VAT. <laughs> Take that hat off. Take that coat off. <laughs> okay. This didn't happen in rehearsals. Where have you come from? <laughs> I'm the governor now. Okay. Put that on. You can be my minder for tonight. Okay, George. Yeah, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, George Cole. at home. Does it feel a bit like coming bit, home yes. in here? It's not a bad likeness, is it? It's very good. Yeah, come on, hurry up with the booze. <laughs> so... That's just as bad as it always was. <laughs> Getting served. So, George, when Arthur was first offered you, how was he described to you? Um, well, I didn't see a script. Hello? I was... Hello? What about me? <laughs> come on! <laughs> All right. Go ahead, part of this. Terry would never behave like that. He would never <laughs> I didn't see a script, all I saw was a format. And uh, it said his favourite film was The Godfather. Yeah. And he dressed like a dodgy member of the Citizens Advice Bureau. <laughs> <laughs> and that was enough for me. You thought, yep, I'll have, have that, yeah. And did you know at that stage who was going to be your minder? Uh, yes, I did. You did? He, he'd already been cast. And had you worked with him before? Was it the first time? Uh, well, it's rather odd. We were um, sitting in a car, a minder, and he was in the front chatting up a girl. And um, I was in the back, and uh, I heard him say to her, yeah, I was in this picture called Fright. And I said, no, you weren't. I was in that picture. He said, no, you weren't. And this went on and on and on. And then we discovered that when I came into the film, he was lying dead on his <laughs> face <laughs> in the hall, and I just stepped over him. <laughs> and we, neither of us knew we were in it. Unbelievable. Oh, there are some, some memorable lines from the series, obviously, because well, it's my favourite, so I remember them all the time. One was that uh, you had to get involved with a reformed pal of yours who was uh, a thief at the time, and Terry had said he's become a born-again Christian, and you said, that's all I need, a decaffeinated tea leaf. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> fantastic. I mean, how much, uh, I mean, how much of the lingo did you, did you add yourself, George? Uh, not very much. We, um, we never ad-libbed deliberately. Right. 
but occasionally to get out of trouble we had to. Yeah, yeah. But I only ad-libbed once, deliberately, and that was because my son came down and said, I heard a wonderful um, thing in the pub the other day, and it's straight out of minder, and it was, I'm telling you, my son, the world is your lobster. <laughs> so I, I took my wallet out, I gave him 25 pounds, I said, don't you give that to anyone else, that's mine. And I sat on it for two years. You're joking. Yeah, and then we were doing a, um, a, a boxing minder, and Dennis was covered in blood, just having come out of the ring, and I said, I'm telling you, my son, the world is your lobster. <laughs> <laughs> and years later, the man who created the series came up to me and said, I believe I owe you £12.50. <laughs> and he said, I thought it was the best line I'd ever written. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. George Cole! George Cole! Thank you. The coat, that is the coat and the hat, isn't the it? The coat and the hat. The original, Fantastic. yeah. Fantastic, yeah, thank you. Well, we've got more reunions and more surprises coming up after this when we revisit World of Sport. Remember that? Yeah. Dickie Davis as well. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah.